Uh, what should I do this week? Uh, well, stress is pretty low. Yeah, we're pretty um, solid, but we don't need to sleep this week. Everything's fairly averaged out. Red's a little higher than the rest. Um, One of each? Smarts needs two more before we hit 40. So, study, skip red? Sure. Alright. Too bad we can't do like a study thing to uh, increase smartness or something. I don't know. Well, I we mean, know. Increase cute or weird, I should have mean. Yeah, like strong goes up by going to the gym, smart goes up by studying, but cute and weird are just purely what happens in certain events. We spend the entire day focusing in the mirror to be cuter or weirder. That alone is weird. <laughs> like, uh, you know, we've had a couple a couple things now where we were cute and weird. Alright. Don't drag me into this. Did I save? I'm all the weird. <laughs> I'll, I'll save next time an event happens. Magic's almost at 40 now. Excellent. Probably learn another spell if we get to it. Sleep. Let's struggle at sleep. Misfire. <laughs> Ellen, I can make anyone go to sleep now. Do you realize the implications of this? <gasps> <laughs> She's like, yes, you can put the guards to sleep. <laughs> and then... And then, and then you're like, I, I meant Victoria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, I meant Virginia. Uh, or, or we could do that. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning and returns after the mail and allowances are delivered. What should I do today? You know, I don't really need to read that every week. <laughs> I don't know why I do. Because uh, it might be something different. By the time you've already started, you can't stop. That's true. Uh, study time. Sorry. Match. Excellent. Yeah, we didn't take that class today. Or this week. We need to take a class, then sleep. Because after yeah. class 30. So, let's Black. do some blue. Blue, yeah, blue. Then sleep. Then green. And white. And we definitely need to do black. And black. I just want to tip it up to 40, because I feel like 40 will be a new spell. Yeah, and I, I want to do black simply because it's the lowest right now. Yeah, I don't want to skip black. I mean, he's helping you keep this kind of even, though, I think. Yeah. Disruption interrupts the casting of a spell, causing it to fizzle. Hmm. After classes, all the students are called together in the gym. There's a table on the stage containing a row of brightly colored candles, of which only one at the end is lit. Today we are here to recognize outstanding Iris Academy seniors, the best and brightest of our Sorry. young people, and in, with introductions into the magic honor society. Oh, snap. We're not seniors, so we're, even with our marriage, we're not going to get that. Yeah, I'm sure, like, William will get it, and I don't even know who else. I don't know who the smartest seniors are. Don't really care, either. Yeah. But what you should be most proud of is not the honor you received today, but the choices and sacrifices you've made that led you to this point, and two points beyond. This is just, like, flavor. Letting you know more about the world. Uh, apparently. You know... I was just thinking, she basically wears kind of like a belly dancing outfit. You yeah, see what I'm getting old. at? Yeah. No, like with the like Arabian yeah. see sleeve thing. Kinda. Yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, it doesn't really look scandalous or anything. But continue. You, but I'm just saying. I just was thinking about that. I was like, does that mean she wears the awesome puffy like Kareem pants? All right. I, I hope not. <laughs> They're not completely see-through, Tim. It's just the legs. A life well lived is its own reward. She's like, anything for Grabby to notice me. <laughs> <laughs> as seniors, you stand as shining examples to those who will follow you. Really? Therefore, as 
As I call your names, please come up to the stage and take one of these candles to pass on the light. I was going to say, really, I don't think she's uh, as old as we're making her seem. <laughs> but it's funnier this way. Yes. <laughs> um, You're oh, probably shit. right. But I Did you see that? She turned into a bunch of stars when she disappeared. No, uh, the, the lag between was not letting me see much of the transition of anything. I mean, usually when people fade away, they fade away. But like that time I saw that she was a bunch of little stars. So I was like, wow. Um, dazzle, dazzle, dazzle. That was like ultra star wipe. Oh, <laughs> she. <laughs> this noises. She lists off a number of seniors. William and Isabel are among them, but Damien is not. Each takes the candle that has been most recently lit and touches it next to the touches it to the next candle in line, passing the flame. And one more student who deserves special recognition recognition for all her hard work and creative thinking and processing new theory behind the. Icarus effect. Angela Krikushka. Forgive me, dear. I don't know how to say your last name. I have it a lot in school. <laughs> yeah, I can see it being like Kirsch, Kirsch. Like, there's a lot like, of ways. Like, half, half the times the teachers would be like, and next up to the stage is Virginia, and I'm sorry if I pronounced this name wrong. <laughs> That's really the only thing you can do. Yeah. Instead, it's like, Virginia note spelling, um, <laughs> you know. Yeah, this that was Angela. I'll, I'll write that down. Angela walks up to the stage, all smiles, and I hear Ellen grinding her teeth beside me. I wonder what's on her mind. Well, because <laughs> An Angela was fucking with her during senior week. Oh, uh, that's the one that was saying down. Yeah. Oh, we're, okay. Okay. Each one of you has a calling in life. You set your own goals and strive to achieve them. Your goals are yours alone. And what is easy for you may not be for others. Now, for all we know, maybe maybe Ellen inadvertently discovered whatever she's credited for. <laughs> you know what I mean? To bend over? No, I mean, like, she had, hel had Ellen helping her do stuff. Maybe during senior week. And then, like, cause she, maybe she found out Ellen was really smart because she was good at blue magic. She teleported out of the room the first test, you know? Maybe. So I could see maybe that being a thing, but we'll find out. Uh, it you... might, it's probably just because she was getting screwed with. What? Uh, no, 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 oh. What? Hot stam. Whatever you do, never crush <laughs> someone else's dreams. For then you can be sure that you are not working towards your own. But that is my dream. Crushing other streams. Everyone's or just certain people's? Everyone's. Well mostly Man. well mostly just certain people. It's it's kinda like there's a white <laughs> list, not a black list. Okay. Like your dreams, you know what? You can have. I like you enough. You're like, if I like you, you're probably not a, you're probably not gonna have your dreams crushed. But exactly. like I'll probably have everybody come up to me and be like, What's your dream? Worthless. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your dream? Well, my, my dream was about this cake with these cows. You have like a rope, and they walk up to your big iron throne, and you like pull it, and they fall down the shark pit. Like, and you're like, oh, next. No, a rancor. <laughs> so the rancor, okay. Like, yes. What if, what if they're Die secretly a Jedi? What if they're secretly a Jedi, though, man? Do you want to take that chance? Mm, Jedi probably can't defend against sharks. Yeah. Lightsabers yeah. probably don't work underwater. I beg to differ, but, um, a Jedi would probably already be nearing his goals and dreams, so, it's yes, no I would, because then it, then it would, uh, show the higher priority targets faster. Uh, you'd use it to flush them out into the open. Yeah. They'd kill the Rancor, and then open up the pit and walk into a firing squad. Yeah, well. Or, no, no, they'd open up the door, and then it would explode? No, they would open up the door and they're met with flamethrowers. Block that. No, ah, okay, okay. No, no. They open up the door. Hear me out. And they were actually on a space station and they get vacuumed out into the cold, dark recesses of space. That can work. It's just the door doesn't have a window, so they don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that can work. <laughs> Alright. Um. After that speech, we're dismissed with, with the candle still burning. It was probably just because I was getting messed with. 
Sleeping reduces stress. Yeah, I did say to sleep. I was like, we slept? Magic. Stagger. Oh, something about Target being overwhelmed with dizziness. I come back into the room to find Ellen turning the place upside down. She has books piled on top of books, half of them still open. It's a mess. Ellen is making a mess. Uh-oh. What's going on? I can't find my... <laughs> That's so stupid. What is? Do you know what her paper was about? What paper? Angelia! This is about that honor society thing? Ah, you were right. Haha. <laughs> she came up with this idea that there's this magical field around the earth and it gets weaker as you move further away from the ground. So by so if you fly high enough, the magic fails and you fall. That sounds like a reasonable idea. But it's just an idea. All she did was read up about some people flying and then making something up. She wrote an essay about it, how things might be, and didn't do anything at all to find out if it was true. Hmm. They're calling her brilliant from nothing. But a just so story. Uh, I guess that's bad. I asked Professor Propstan about it, and she didn't even understand the question. And I told Professor Grabner it was bad practice, and he snapped at me. Oh. How can we learn magic from people who don't actually know how magic works? If nobody does any research, if nobody tries to figure out what makes things happen, anything we can do can lead to disaster. I agree with her. Completely. Well, can you do research? What? She's like, you just blew my mind. My mind? <laughs> it's all Explode. over the floor! Yeah. <laughs> what have you done? I'm not sure I understand the problem either, but it sounds like you do, so maybe you should do something. Maybe. Hey, how good are you at falling? <laughs> Maybe. Let's test my levitation ability. Jump out the window. She goes <laughs> back to flipping through books, but she looks less angry and more thoughtful. We calmed her down. Success. The room's still a mess. It's fine. She'll clean it up. Fear causes the target to feel terror and wish to leave the caster's presence. It ain't in fear. Three black magic through stress. Fracture damages the integrity of objects, possibly shattering them. Hmm. And if not, hit him with the old one two fireball. <laughs> oh. or, or a rolling boulder crack open thing. Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning and returns after the mall and allowances are delivered. What should I do today? Oh, we have 55. Oh. I need to go to the mall to buy something. Do you want to come? Totally. We were gonna go there anyway. Yeah, she just <laughs> she made up her mind for us. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and Tee save quick. <laughs> Tee -hee. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save quick. Because I don't think I save in like two weeks. I think you're right. Alright. When we reach the mall, Ellen immediately heads not in the direction of the bookstore, but to an unimpressive generic looking drugstore. Uh oh. What are you looking for? A camera. But we're not allowed... She looks at me. Right, you know that. Maybe you should go and let me shop on my own. Then you can say you didn't know. Why do you want a camera anyway? I'm not telling. Oh. It's <laughs> She's probably... like, it's a secret. I'm not telling. Go on, I'll see you later. With the camera. <laughs> I thought that's where you were going with that. Of course. Huh. <laughs> well, what should I do today then? Let's go check out and see how much this crap costs. 